Back at the Horde base, which is going to need some repair work, clearly. More than I remember, but minor details. I thought, you know, maybe we should look into the possibility here of using this for double duty. Namely, that I'm kind of thinking it might not be a bad idea. Oh my. Just go ahead and pretend that's fine now. To put the forges over here. A little worried about the zombies getting in here and trashing stuff, but thus far at least that really hasn't been an issue. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and say fine. So I got to tell you, before I started the episode, I made two land plane blocks. I destroyed the one we had. I Actually, that would work just fine. Now that I look at that, that would be up high enough that I... Hmm. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do it that way. I'll just put it against the wall. That's fine. But anyway, made some land claim blocks, destroyed the existing one, popped one down. I should probably be using... This guy for this one, no? Yeah, that's what I thought. Eh, it's fine. Whatever. I I'm not going to sweat it. Anyway, I destroyed our existing forge, and I have it in hand, and yes, I know, lost a ton of clay in it, as well as some metal, and I'm just, I'm not going to sweat it. We're going to drop these guys down, we're just going to kind of get them fired up and let them get rolling, and uh, probably go do something else. Give them an opportunity to start to build up some resources in there. I mean, it's only day 18, we got day 19 coming, we still got a few more days before the horde. This is not directly Horde-related by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, we can at least kind of get started on this stuff. I want to put them... Yeah, we'll... We'll do something like that. That looks nice enough, I think. And then this guy, we'll go ahead and put the Crucible and the Anvil back in. I'm going to need another Anvil over here, just in the interest of trying to, you know, be able to speed things along. And we'll just drop, um, I don't know, that chunk of metal in there. Sounds good. There you go. Start burning away. I have no idea how long that's going to take, if that's sufficient time. Anything? I, I don't know. And then we're going to get you started on at least some stones. And then, sure, whatever, it's fine. I think we're just going to kind of leave these over here and we'll just come back to this place when we need the forge. Because I I do want to go reset the other place and I don't know, I, I didn't test it to see what would happen if I tried to reset it with the forge in there. I just kind of assumed that with the, re the forge in there that the game would be like, nope, way it goes. And I could be wrong on that. I, I really don't, don't know. Let's go drop some of this junk off just because I think what we're going to do is maybe not go through the entire thing. I mean, we're probably going to have to go through a fair amount of it just because it is a fetch quest, but we'll probably end up skipping through some stuff a little bit. Oh, I should have put the wrench in there. That's fine. Electrical parts, those can go in there. Go ahead and wear that because it's night and I'm going to forget otherwise. I'm going to say that's good. I think that's fine. Put that guy back down in place. Do have a silencer on the marksman's rifle, of course, so we can use that as a way to somewhat silently get rid of zombies if we need to. Let's go ahead and trigger that guy. Boom. There we go. This place is now reset. And it's going to be downstairs, the packages. You're not very good at this. I mean, I even had the light on and everything. Here, I'll turn the light back on. Probably just go pistol from this point forward, because we don't really have a whole lot of a 9 mil. But let's go downstairs and see if we're close to where it is. We're on the right level, which I knew that was going to be the case. Oh, hi. Have a good time out there. I'm just going to stop and check this toilet, if you don't mind. I 
didn't even know that I want to grab the water. Don't we have tons of it? Coffee beans? I don't know. We should probably use some of those. Here we go. There are some more blood bags. Since we no longer have the blood draw kit. Blood bags are supposed to stack a little more. I don't know if they're supposed to drop a little more. They are supposed to stack more. Gotta wait until he's just finished with his swing before opening the door, right? Thank you. Hi. I don't need any help from you, though. Oh, that's the courier satchel. That didn't take very long. I guess that means we can bypass the rest and... Hey, look at that. A blueberry seed book. We can go get the loot. <laughs> oh, man. I want to take a look at something here, too. 16,430. That's not too bad. That gets us a little closer now, down to 15,000. Part of me wants to go through the whole thing just for the experience. I mean, the experience points, not the experience of going through. I've We've done that recently. So I'm not really concerned about that. It's funny, one of the mods that I have going on with my other game, again, I think I mentioned that I was kind of rolling through with some slightly different settings and stuff. One of the mods includes a knockdown mod that randomizes the time the zombies take to get up when you knock them down. Really like that mod. It just adds a fun little thing where sometimes you're not sure. If you're not paying attention to your experience, you're not sure is that zombie dead or not. And it has happened more than once where I've thought, you know, I think I killed that zombie. I'm good. And then it got up. Like, oh. You know, usually because I've already been killing a bunch of others and I was not keeping track of how many. Or you get ones that are worth, you know, their differing amounts of experience and you kind of lose track of where that is. It just adds a fun little unexpected surprise, unpredictability, I don't know, something like that to the game. Okay, what's going on here? Jump. Got it. That's the thing. I forgot to jump. I knew I did something wrong. I'm going to put that guy right there because I have a strong suspicion that we'll have some birds. Okay. I don't even know. How many points do we have to spend? How many skill points? Do we have any? I don't even know. No clue. How you doing? Nothing else. I was just talking the other day about how I needed to collect more of these kinds of materials so we can make some more effective buildings. So, it's probably worth it to go through just to get this stuff. At least to grab some of it. I, I'm not super concerned about finding all the hidden caches and all that. And honestly, I don't even think I know where any of them are in this building. Some of the buildings I know. This one, I don't. I mean, I realize we just went through it, but I don't remember finding finding a hidden cache anywhere. No, I can't. All right, well, if you're going to be like that, I'm going to be like this. You guys might all be crippled now because this gun has the cripple mod in it. Oh, well, that one's definitely crippled. Okay, then. Bookcases are uninjured, which is all I care about. Do 10% more damage against coyotes. Awesome. Didn't mean to grab the paper. Whatever. Definitely grab that stuff. I'm not going to worry about food, water. If there's... Oh, look at that. Grandpa's awesome sauce. Okay. I would like Grandpa's forgetting elixir. Ooh, Pistol Pete. Volume 2. Each successive leg shot on the same target increases chance to cripple 
by 10%. You add that to the Cripple em mod that we're currently running, that's fairly compelling. You missed. I even gave you a free swing. And he, I'm pretty sure, missed. Just thinking if, you know, certain things are limited and we do need metal, well, then we should probably get some more springs and stuff. Just thinking. I'll put that guy right there while I do some more shoveling. Well, that's awkward. On multiple levels. I hear it. But I don't see it. I was not aware that happens when you put... a turret on stairs. Where did that go? Hi, how you doing? What do we what do we got going on here? Nope, my bad. Thought that one was done. Well I I think it's gone. We can't make these, right? I was checking to make sure we didn't have an auger thing. Junk turret ammo, no? Okay, well, I think I inadvertently destroyed the, the junk turret. Because it appears to be missing. I don't know, I don't even know which one I put it on, which level it was on. This one? This one? Alright, well. Whatever. Oh, I was just gonna say, maybe it fell all the way down. Wait, what? Right, can I close that door? It's over... It's over there? Where is it? Did it fall down onto this side? Now it's just become a game of where's the turret? I hear it. But I, oh, hi. Madam. I'm a little busy if you don't mind. I'm, I'm trying to play where's the turret. Buddy. Leave it. Can't you see I'm busy here? I mean, I'm learning critical information. That's the turret. No? Okay, no. Never mind. I guess I either hit the desk or I hit the dolly. What am I hitting? Ah, game. Hey. I guess I need to reinforce that, huh? So I will continue not to then. Oh, the power swing on this pick is just garbage, isn't it? It's not a great pick. That's that's really the problem here. Is it in the wall here somewhere? Oh, this is... This is one of the strangest things I've ever had to do. I mean, I guess I don't have to do this, but you know what I mean. I would like to get the turret back. This turret is... weird. Well, I have totally lost track of the path through this place at this point. I have no idea. So... I think we were coming down here. So that would go outside. So then this comes across over here. So we're going to this side then. 
And then theoretically we got some zombies over here. I don't know how many of them we've killed versus how many of them are just still wandering around. Minor details. So we can go check what's going on downstairs. No, I have now doubled back. Dang it. How did I manage that? Check that anyway. Since kind of missed that before. So that's... Oh, goodness. Did I go through a wall over here or something? How did I do that? Because I thought we didn't cross this way. Oh, right there. Okay. So that one... Oh, I'm so turned around now. Over here. Got it. Follow the lights and you will arrive. Got it. Just out of curiosity here. Am I going to get a, a brass faucet? No. Okay. It's just curious. I couldn't remember. Sometimes you get a try. See what happens. Not many zombies around, because apparently we've already killed all of them. I'm good with that. I don't mind. I mean, that really was kind of the whole point, though, was to go through and kill zombies, but if we've already killed them, then, you know, there's not much I can say to that. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the stage. Okay, are we good? I think we're pretty much good in this place. I, I kind of think we skipped somewhere, but I, I'm not really going to concern myself with it. I'm fine with this. We got a level. That was really kind of one of the things I was getting at. I just want to make sure that we got enough experience to get a level. And that was a little while ago even, so it's not like necessarily that just happened. That was kind of disappointing for a large ammo pile. Would have liked to have seen more than just that, but, no, yeah, you know, whatever, it's fine. This box could easily have all of that and more. Or all of that and less. Steel chest armor, wow. Iron boots, iron sledge, we'll just take all that stuff. And we're going to stop and drink some mineral water, I guess. Okay. Good deal. This was pretty productive, I think. Man, I'm just going to let my... Hmm. Okay. Going to let myself out right here, I guess. So we have several quests to turn in to the trader. Unfortunately, we still don't have the zombie football player quest, but we could probably remedy that by going to the football stadium. And I suspect that would be fine, because I don't think it matters where you kill them, just that you kill them. So that's kind of a, a good workaround on that, I would suspect. But for right now... I think everything's pretty good. Let's go check the forges, though, and see where those are at. And I suppose if we really want, we could drop one of the... We could drop, like, the iron sledge in there or something. Those are still fine to melt down because you're not going to get parts out of them. It's really only the steel things that you're going to get the parts out of. So if you're thinking, but you just said the other day that you weren't interested in doing that sort of stuff, well, there you go. There's your explanation. Come on. Nope. Before I turn that one on, we didn't really collect any brass that time around, did we? I mean, put some stones in there. I'd like to have more than just that, but we still gotta go collect some more, really. We're not at a point where that would work. We need to go get a bunch of 
sand too, or I suppose a ton, 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 ton of stones. And then we could crush them. That would be another way to accomplish what we want to do here. I want to scrap those guys down. Man, I kind of just want to do a third forge. I kind of like doing that. I like to specialize my forges. I like to have one just for metal, one just for brass and lead. That one's perhaps not as specialized. And one just for stone. So I think I'll hold off on that for the time being. Probably need to make some more spikes to... As a matter of fact, while I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to make like 30 of these spike traps since it won't take that long to craft the wood ones and then they can just run through and blast upgrade them with a nail gun with some forged iron. Just figured we'd kind of get a, a head start on that. I know I've got a couple in here already, but just the same. So let's put this junk away, or rather, I'll put this junk away. And I think what we'll do is we will meet up on the next one and figure out what stuff we want to get rid of and possibly throw some more spikes down and that sort of stuff. And I don't know, we, we got we got things we can do. We got things we need to do, really. That's, that's what it comes down to. Not to mention lots of stuff to sell. So I'll catch you next one. Tell them thanks for watching. See you later.